Mmm, so good. Such a good thing, like this in my whole entire life. I love it. I need to take another bit of this thing. Thank you, Mommy. You are such the best fish. Let your beast big sister test her. In this good thing. Mm. I just have nothing to say about this. This is so good. Have you ever just gotten bored with just the plain flavors of just steamed broccoli and or veggies? Well, I'm going to share with you guys an amazing and super simple recipe that's going to bump up all these flavors, take it up 10 notches, and it is so flavorful. It's going to be probably the best side dish in your meal. Everyone's going to love it. And what I'm going to do is I start off with some carrots here. I have two large carrots that I have cleaned, I have peeled, washed, and I've cut them into small strips like so. You just take your carrot and cut into half and then quarters and then try to get them into small little strips like that, as well as one large head of broccoli that I have rinsed really well and cut off the heads, the florets of it, and about four to five cloves of really finely minced garlic. Of course, I will have um, all the amounts in the description box for you, but no amount is really necessary for this. You can alter this to your own liking. We're also going to need a little bit of vegetable oil that I have in my nonstick skillet here, my nonstick pot here. This is about one teaspoon of vegetable oil. You can also use coconut oil, olive oil, whatever oil you want to use. And to that, I'm going to add in one tablespoon of butter. Now, you can leave the butter out if you want, but the butter is also going to just... Um, flavor everything really nicely. So my heat is on medium high and I'm going to go ahead and just melt that butter down. Just like so, just wait for that butter to melt down and then we're going to go ahead and add in our four to five cloves of minced garlic. Mix that all around in that butter and oil and then I'm going to go ahead and cover this and let this garlic infuse its flavor into the oil and butter for about maybe 30 seconds to a minute or so. We don't want the garlic to burn, we just want the flavors to become infused and released into the oil and butter. So just cover that for about 30 seconds. After about 30 seconds, we're going to remove my lid. Remember, we don't want that garlic to burn. And we're going to go ahead and add in our carrots. I'm adding my carrots first because carrots will take a little bit longer to cook. I do want a little bit of crunch still on them, but I do want them to be mostly cooked through. I'm going to toss it in that garlic butter oil mixture. And trust me, at this point, it's already starting to smell delicious. It is such a great side dish. It's amazing how something so simple can just take the flavors up just with a few little extra ingredients. Now I'm going to cover my carrots and let this cook down, cook away for about two minutes. After about two minutes, I'm going to come in, remove my lid, and give it a stir. Only because my heat is on medium high and I really don't want to burn anything. So I let that go for two minutes, come in and stir it. I'm going to cover it again and let it go for another two minutes. So four minutes in total for the carrots, because I still want a crunch in there, but I do want it to be partially, mostly cooked through. After two minutes, just give everything a nice stir. And then we're going to go ahead and add in our broccoli. And make sure and toss that broccoli all around on the carrots and the oil. Make sure everything is coated lovely. And I'm going to cover the broccoli and let it go for another maybe about two minutes or so. Alrighty, so after about two minutes, I'm going to go ahead and remove my lid. Give everything a nice stir again. Make sure nothing is... Um, getting stuck to the bottom even though this is a nonstick skillet so nonstick pot so I won't have that problem I'm gonna go ahead and season this with salt and pepper it is very important to season it because the salt and pepper will also enhance those flavors and make it just also good toss that around 
cover that and let that go for about another minute or so. I really do like a good crunch on my broccoli, but of course you do. You can just alter this to as long as you want it, really. I'm going to go ahead and add in some frozen peas because I really want to add some vegetables to this. I really want to um, have as much vegetables as I can that my little one will enjoy. So I'm going to go ahead and add in some frozen peas, give that a toss around. And just for the peas to warm through completely. And I'm also going to be going ahead and adding in some a can of corn because I know my little one loves corn. I love corn and it goes so well as a side as well. So adding it into this just is perfection. So I add it in and of course I'm just going to give that a really nice toss around. And just let everything warm through and let all those flavors come together. And that's pretty much it, guys. What's really great about this recipe, too, is that you can add any vegetable that you want to this. Um, this is just a staple for me. This is basically what I have on hand all the time. So I will just add them into this. And that's it. This goes perfect with chicken, any as a side to anything, really. It is amazing. It's super flavorful. And it's amazing what a few simple ingredients can take something that could sometimes be a little bit bland and make it into something super flavorful. I hope that you guys enjoy this recipe. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.